Hello, I'm Mr. Howard. In this video, we're going to look at piecewise word problems. So we're going to be looking at word problems where we can apply piecewise functions to them. If you haven't watched the video or you're not familiar with piecewise functions, then you need to go back and watch that video first. Uh, the basic video on piecewise functions that I made so that you can understand those um, before you actually start applying them with these word problems. We're also going to be looking at rate of change a lot in this lesson and rate of change is going to be uh, found from the slope of these piecewise functions and the rate of change concept is extremely important in calculus and we're in pre-calculus now so we need to really take a, a strong look at rate of change. Alright, so that's what we will be doing here. So we have this example uh, so let's just read through it first and then we'll start breaking it down. Uh, it says, Bob starts out for school at 7 a.m. and drives 10 miles in 15 minutes. He then stops for 30 minutes at a local restaurant for breakfast. Afraid that he might be late for school, he continues driving a little faster for another 20 minutes and covers 18 miles, at which point his car breaks down. From that point, he jogged the remaining 3 miles to school in 45 minutes. It says, draw a graph with the distance on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. Okay, so let's do that part. So we have uh, distance here. And we have uh, time here. I'm going to try to make that as straight as possible so that when we finish here, the graph looks decent. So this is going to be time, and that's in minutes. Uh, according to the problem, they're talking about minutes. And then this is our distance, and that is going to be in miles, according to the problem. All the distance are, distances are specified miles. Okay, so that part's done. Now we just need to think about some ordered pairs here. Uh, I think that makes it easier. So let's just make a little table off to the side here with this situation. Uh, in terms of what's going on. That'll make it easier to break it down. Uh, really, I should use T and uh, D of T here instead of X and Y because that's what our problem situation has. So T is our X axis here and uh, D of T, distance in terms of time or distance as a function of time, um, is our y-axis here okay so let's look at it he starts out for school so uh, at time zero in the problem he has gone zero miles right he's just starting out so that's that part he drives 10 miles in 15 minutes so at a time of 15 minutes he is 10 miles away he has traveled 10 total miles he then stops for 30 minutes at a local restaurant okay so uh, he's there 30 minutes, so he hasn't gone anywhere, so his distance will still be 10, but it's 30 minutes later than this, so 30 plus 15 would be 45 minutes total. And afraid he might be late for school, he continues driving a little faster for another 20 minutes, so 45 plus 20, that's going to give us 65 minutes, and uh, covers 18 more miles. So uh, 18 more miles than the uh, 10 miles would give us 28 miles and uh, his car breaks down from that point he jogged the remaining three miles so another three miles to the 28 miles we've already gone that'd be 31 miles and uh, he does that in 45 more minutes so that would be 110 minutes okay it's a lot easier if you go ahead and make this table for the situation so we can start uh, plotting these points and putting these lines in here uh, it, it actually will be a lot easier okay so we have the zero zero so that's right here alright so on our um, t-axis our, our x-axis our time axis here I'm going to uh, I'm gonna break this down in chunks of 15 so uh, 15 30 45 60 um, 75, 90, and um, since this is in chunks of 15, that would be 20 more to get to 110, so I'm just going to put 110 right here. That's an appro approximate scale. 
Okay, so this was 15, this was um, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, and we made that 110. Okay, so th this is just approximate here. Uh, and then on this axis, I think I can use 10 minutes, so 10 minutes at a time, so that would be 10, 20, and 30 right there. All right, now we've got our 0, 0 point here. Now we need the point 15, 10. So 15, 10 would be right there. Uh, then we need 45, 10. So that's straight across. So that'd be about right here. And then we need 65, so a little bit past 60. Uh, and then up to 28. So we'll call that good about right there. And then 110, 31. So about right there. Okay. So now we're just going to sketch this thing in here. And these are actually just lines here. We're just connecting these points. No other function would uh, describe this any better than a line. So there we go. So there is our piecewise function. We have a piece here. 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 Okay, now I'm going to come back in here and label all of these points. So we had 0, 0. I'm not going to label that one. This one was 15, comma 10. This was uh, 45, comma 10. This point up here was 65, comma 28. And this last point out here was 110, comma 31. All right, so that takes a while to draw this picture. To, to, to draw this graph and put it all together. But we really need this graph because it's going to ask us some questions in a minute about applying this piecewise function here. Again, we have one, two, three, four pieces to this function. Okay, so there's our picture. Now let's move on to uh, example two where it starts asking us some questions about it. All right, so we've got our graph complete and now we can start looking at some of these examples. So example two, what is the rate of change at 12 minutes. So the rate of change is in this case is just the slope. Rate of change is the slope of each one of these line segments okay at any particular x value. So at an x value of 12 that's approximately right here on the graph x equals 12 about right there. So we want the slope of this line segment this piece of our piecewise function and remember that slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, so our y2 here, we're using this point 15 comma 10 and this point 0, 0 to find the slope of this line section, the line segment. Those are the two points we have identified here. So y2 would be 10 minus y1 would be 0 over x2 would be 15 here minus x1 which is 0. This point is 0, 0. This point is 15, comma 10. So that equals 10 over 15 which would re just reduce to 2 thirds and our units would be miles per minute. So that's a speed. 2 thirds miles per minute. So his rate of change during this section of his trip was 2 thirds miles per minute. All right, the next one, example three. What is the rate of change at 17 minutes? All right, well, we look on our graph here, and 17 is about right here. So that's right there on our graph. So the slope of this line segment right here on our piecewise function is zero, right? Because it's a horizontal line. We are Our y is not changing. So we would have y2 would be 10, y1 would be 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. 0 divided by anything is just 0. So the slope is 0. So rate of change is 0 here. 0 miles per minute. Remember he's sitting there eating breakfast. So he, of course he's not moving at all. So that makes perfect sense. Alright, example 4. What is the rate of change at 50 minutes? 
Okay, well, 50 would be about right here. So we go up until we hit our graph. And so that would be about right there. Okay, so we're going to take the slope of this line segment, this piece of our function now. So y2 in this case is 28 minus y1 in this case is 10 divided by x2. x2 is 65 minus x1 is 45. So that equals 28 minus 10 is 18. 65 minus 45 is 20. And that will reduce to 9 over 10. And you could also write that as a decimal as 0.9. So 0.9 miles per minute is his rate of change at 50 minutes. So all through this piece of our function, that throughout this time, 45 to 65 here, he is um, moving at a speed of 0.9 miles per minute or 9 tenths miles per minute. All right, let's look at some additional examples. All right, we have three more examples here. Example five, what is the rate of change at 99 minutes? All right, 99 minutes. So 99 is somewhere right in here. So that's about right there on the graph. Okay, at 99 minutes. So that's going to be the slope, the rate of change of this piece of our function. So this line segment here. So that's going to be y2 in this case is 31 minus y1 is 28 over x2 is 110 minus x1 65 this is going to be a erase that that's five is not very good so this is going to be a fraction a small decimal so we're going to bring up our calculator for this one so it would be parentheses 31 minus 28 divided by 110 I need to put that in parentheses too. 110 minus 65. All right, so that's 0 0.06 repeating or 1 15th. Okay, so we can write it as 1 15th or 0 0.06 repeating miles per minute. Okay, so 1 15th or 0 0.06 miles per minute. All right, example six, what is the common meaning of rate of change for this problem? So in this situation, his slope here is speed, right? Because it's miles per minute. Miles per minute is a, a rate, which is a speed, right? So we can just write speed here. How fast is he moving? All right, example seven, what is the rate of change at 65 minutes? All right, well, that's right here at this point. That is called a cusp. Because it, because it is a point where we are changing. So if we were to uh, draw lines about this point, we could draw all sorts of different sloped lines right there at that point. So we really have to say that the slope right here at 65 where this is changing is actually undefined or undetermined. Okay, I'm going to write undefined. So really, we can't say. At 65, his rate of change is undefined right there. All right, uh, let's look at example 8. Now, example 8 will take us some time because we're actually going to write uh, the function for this piecewise situation here. All right, 